Hey guys, welcome back to the Glassnode channel. This is Chart of the Week, where we run you through some of the most important charts in crypto right now. What I wanted to spend some time talking about today is long-term holders, uh, specifically long-term holder Bitcoin supply and long-term holder selling. It's an ongoing narrative that I've, essentially everyone's been talking about, where long-term holders are selling to institutions in the form of ETFs and DITs, but let's, let's dive in. So essentially what we have here is the total supply held by long-term holders in Bitcoin terms. And during 2017, you can see a very clear wave of selling during the entire bull run up, taking advantage of rising prices, rising liquidity, and they booked some major profits. Waited for some further downside and essentially accumulated throughout the entire 2018 bear market. Once we found the bottom, they basically slowed down behavior, little bit of distribution into the 2019 highs, but largely accumulation into the rally that began in November 2020. So we rallied very hard into early 2021, where long-term holders again took massive profits, and you can see that by this wave of selling or distribution. Waiting for some, some downside again, we obviously had China banning Bitcoin in May, price obviously created by about 40% or so, and long-term holders filled their boots again, largely accumulating all the way until ETFs go live. So if I just zoom in on the current cycle, our first wave of distribution during the cycle occurred obviously during the ETF rally. Prices obviously rallied about 80 odd percent. Long-term holders booked significant profits into the strength and waited, uh, waited out this, this awful chop uh, before they actually accumulated again at these lows. Uh, again, selling during this rally here, the Trump pump. They were selling into the, selling into the highs, waiting out the chop and essentially accumulating at these lows. So the timing's been great, but the, the essentially the wave I wanna focus on is the most recent wave. This wave here, they accumulated on the way up as opposed to selling on the way up. They accumulated all the way until Bitcoin was at about 119K. You can see that in the net position change. 2017, just contrasting again. 2017, clear wave of selling, clear wave of, wave of buying. Same again in 21. Clear wave of selling into strength, buying into weakness. And if we zoom in again, we've seen a few different smaller waves this time as opposed to one or two clearer waves. Accumulation until ETFs go live. Here's the selling during the ETF rally. Large accumulation before Trump election, um, the Trump election rally. Selling into strength again, and then this is where things change. This accumulation can be seen all the way until prices are at about 119K, and that's where it flipped. And they've been selling, obviously not as much coin, but they've been selling in this range. We've been seeing some waning uh, demand on ETF side. So obviously ETFs have been the, per, uh, the, the buyer on the other side of long-term holder selling, ETFs and DATs. But you can see ETFs have been largely net accumulating. And you can also see that with the ETF, uh, spot Bitcoin ETF balances just rising up and to the right since their existence, throughout their existence, I should say. But more recently, zooming in a bit, in recent weeks, we've been seeing some outflows or waning demand at the same time as long-term holders are selling, pushing prices lower. It's just not supportive of Bitcoin's price. So the change of behavior is that they've been selling in a range and selling essentially not at a profit. So we can actually see some of the coins that have been sold here at these lows have spiked some realized losses. So this is realized loss for Bitcoin. So obviously Bitcoin being sold at a loss happens generally at around uh, local lows or uh, points of capitulation. So a lot of our capitulation metrics also spiking, but at these lower prices, we're seeing some, some realized losses, which makes me think that a lot of the Bitcoin accumulated during this wave, accumulated all the way into these highs. I think a lot of those Bitcoin actually were uh, bought at higher prices and are now starting to be sold at a loss. We haven't seen the selling slow down. So I'm not trying to call a bottom or anything like that. Uh, until you see long-term holders selling slow down and they're not booking booking profits from way, way back in the day. I think you're seeing some OG selling at the moment. Until you see renewed demand from ETFs or DATs, which is nowhere to be seen, don't expect any crazy rallies. So for now, keep an eye on the demand side of the equation. And until then, stay tuned. We'll catch you next time.